Let's learn about solid model creation and ANSYS APDL. So solid models are part of pre-processing step. If I click on here, under modeling, create, I can come and find different options for solid model creation, also find element model creation. Under areas, I have some uh, predefined areas like rectangle and circle and polygon. And if I click on rectangle, I have three options, for example, by dimension, which if I give the x1, y1, y, x1, x2, y1, y2 on these four input fields, I can create an area. And the command for that is rectangle or R-E-C-T-N-G. So if I click on this button and bring my commands here, if I put rectangle, and as you can see, a notation is given for me x1, x2, y1, y2 to create uh, the rectangle. I can give the coordinates. I can give 0 to 1, 0 to 2, and create a rectangle like that. Next, I can create a circle. There are five different options for a circle. Let's click on the first one, solid circle, and a window like this will show up. It wants the x and y for the coordinates of this circle and the radius. A command for that is cell4 as you can see in here. It's a different command to create a rectangle and ANSYS APDL. First I have to give the x and y coordinates of my circle. So I give them at 0.5 and 1 for the x and y which would be in the middle of this circle or uh, rectangle. For the radius one, I would give a value, let's say um, 0.2, and the beginning angle is zero. And I can get rid of or not give the radius two for my circle, so that it would create a solid circle for me. And then the theta two would be the second angle, so the ending angle for my circle. So if I give 360, it would create a 0.2 radius circle from 0 to 360 at 0, 1 for the center of the circle. If I press enter, I see that that circle is created for me. Now what I can do here is actually remove the circle from the rectangle. So if I come under modeling, operation, booleans, and subtract, I can create, click on areas, so I want to remove one area or subtract one area from the other one. And first I can select element or area one, which is the area that I created, and then, or the rectangle, and then I can select the second one, which is a circle, and the circle would be re removed from the rectangle. The command for that is ASBA, area subtract from area. First one is area number one, which is the rectangle, and this is the first area that I created. And then the second one is circle, which is area number two. And if I press enter, I see that the circle is removed or subtracted from the area. So if I do a plot, which is short for plot areas, I see that I have a new area. Now let's create an area Actually, I shouldn't have closed that from or using key points. So if I clear, if I go to pre processing using prep seven, and if I say key point and a reference number and a location, let's say at x of minus 0.5 and y of zero. And then I want to create another key point, key point 2, at x of minus 0.25 and a y of 0.25. It's actually behind that. Now I want to create another key point, third key point at x of 0.25 and y of 0.25. And then finally, another key point at x of 0.5 
and y of 0. So I have four key points defined for me. Next, what I can do is to create uh, four, four, more key points. I want to create a half a circle here at the center. So I create key point 5, add x and y of 0, which is created there. I'm going to create another key point, 6, add location for x point 1 for y 0. So it's defined there. And our key point, 7, at x equals 0 and y is point 1, which is there. And I key point 8 at x minus point 1 and y 0 is created here for me. So the first thing I want to do is to create two arcs, one from 6 to 7 and from 7 to 8. The key point 6 to 7 is one arc, and from 7 to 8 is another arc. The command for that, or also in the create part, is in the lines, arcs through key points. The command is LARC, or LARC, short for line as an arc. I have to give the first and second key points, which is going to be 6 and 7, and then the center key point, which is going to be the 5, and the radius. So if I say 6, 7, 5 for the center, and then the radius is 0.1 because the distance between key point 5 and key point 6 is 0.1. The first one is created. Now I can use the same command LARC or LARC and say create a key point or an arc between key point 7 and key point 8. The center is still key point 5 and the radius is 0.1. So I can create this arc. I want to create a line between these two key points and key point 1 and 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 6. So if I do L, short for line with key points, say 1, 8, one line is created. Line L, comma, 1, comma, 2, L, comma, 2, comma, 3, L, comma, 3 comma 4 and L comma 4 comma 6. Now I have something like this created. This is a closed loop. What I can do now is to say AL, which means create areas from lines and either give the line numbers one by one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. I can also do it this way. You can say PNUM line one and then L plot. I see the line numbers. I have seven lines. I can either do that, say AL one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and press enter. Or because I want to use all the lines in this scenario, I could also say AL comma all and now I have an area a plot what I want to do is to remove the line numbers pnum comma line comma zero right pnum comma line comma zero and then a plot the line numbers are removed. So I have an area right now. What I can do here actually is extrude this area. So if I say VXT, which means create a volume by extruding an area, then I can select the area number. I only have one area. And skip the NA2 and NN or NINC, number of increments. Then give the extrusion in x, y, and z directions, which is dx, dy, dz. So I want to extrude this in the z direction, which is the plane or the axis normal to the plane of the area. So I give 0 for dx, 0 for dy, and let's say 0.2 for dz. Now if I take a look at this in 3D, I have a volume, which I can 
change it, the views. So I have a volume that I created through extruding this area. So V extrude would be found under operate, extrude, area, and along normal, if I clicked that, if I, I can actually do the same thing here, select this area, if I look at it from this angle, maybe I can pick that area, okay, I pick that area, and then I can give the distance along the normal to the plane. So let's say 0.5 this time. So it went to the op opposite direction. I think it's in the uh, other direction. But as you can see, I was able to extrude areas to create a volume in this example. So we explained some basic commands in creating areas key points and lines and volumes in ANSYS APDL in this video.